Hello again. Thought I'd do a quick update on that uh, blocking oscillator uh, that Flitmore's pending that I replicated. I told uh, everybody I was going to try and make a copper coil for it. This one right here. This is the original duplication I did. It works really great. I was messing around trying different uh, copper wire and what I ended up with that works quite well is this thing right here. Hopefully you can see that all right. <laughs> all this is an old extension cord I had hanging in the basement that wasn't much good for anything. I just uh, nipped the ends of it off <laughs> and uh, wound it up like, like you see there and uh, put a little hot glue on so it wouldn't come flying apart. Soldered uh, four leads on it. Right now I just have it hooked up to a breadboard. I'll uh, fire it up once here, see if it's doing anything. Maybe not. <laughs> Should be. Well, it takes uh, quite a while for it to charge this cap off of that potato I'm using there. Let me hook up this little uh, uh, glue thing I've got here. Give it a little boost. And there she goes. It'll run off that potato quite well. The biggest cap I had was that 4700. So I stuck that in there. Seems to run forever when you disconnect the power from it though. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you that. It's just, uh, just an old extension cord wound up. If you can't find these uh, green uh, twist ties, I went and ran back over there today and I bought the the uh, last two they had in case I wanted to make another one for a dollar each. And uh, But if you can't find any, uh, this here thing works great. It's just an old extension cord. Probably about number 16 wire. And curled up and soldered some uh, bleeds on it and plugged it in. It works great. Okay, well, thanks for watching. More later. <laughs>